following video may contain sexual imagery, and as such, viewer discretion is advised. Several months ago, I got stood up on a date. On Valentine's Day, of all things. Well, it's a few months later, I've decided to finally give them another chance. Let's take a look at Persona 5. <laughs> A few things worth a mention. Uh, this is based on the first dungeon, uh, and also this is my first real Persona game. I have played some of Persona 4, and I intend to play more of it, but as of this point, I have not played enough to say that I've played Persona. The game's set around a group of high school students, a cat, as they go through their normal school lives, working jobs, hanging out, all that jazz. Oh, and they also happen to be thieves who steal the hearts of the scum of the world. That's also a bit of a big thing as well. The first thing I couldn't help but notice was, God, this is really dark. Not, eh, I'm so edgy, look at my edge. Dark, but a good, respectable darkness. If you never played the Persona game, the game revolves around two main parts of gameplay. The first part is dungeon crawling, where you make your way through palaces of people's hearts, defeating lower level enemies, make your way through puzzles, and ultimately defeating more powerful bosses. The upper half of the gameplay is the real world sections, where you go to school, hang out, work to up your stats like guts, knowledge, and kindness, stuff like that. The game has a rather interesting aesthetic. I like the look of it. It has some of the slickest presentation of a game I've seen in a while, with nice looking animation and transitions. letterboxing the game loves to use pretty much all of the time. The game uses two main types of cutscenes, a typical JRPG-like cutscene in engine, and a more impressive looking animated one. This is nothing new if you've played the Persona game before, but if you've not, it's impressive to see. The game performs rather well, with no noticeable slowdown on my OG PS4. Not that it'd be the end of the world if it did, given the playstyle. That said, in the 3D world, textures can be a bit low res. It's also worth mentioning that the animated cutscenes can be fairly compressed, which is a bit annoying. That said, credit what credit is due. I put the game on my PS4, and there was no updates. Initially, I didn't quite love the music compared to Persona 4. However, as I played more of the game, it grew on me quite a bit. The English voice acting is fairly good from what I've played. I've not yet tried Japanese, however. It's worth mention that the game has three ways of doing voice acting. A cutscene will either be entirely voice acted. You planning on ratting me out to Kamashita? Not at all voice acted. Or one throwaway line that's put in that's vaguely related to what they're saying in game, but not quite. What is it? I'd rather see them all voice acted, but given the game is supposed to last 100 hours, I can see why they may not. It's controversial screen policy aside, Persona 5 is even fun if it had repetitive game. But honestly, I'd recommend most people wait for a price drop before getting it. 